the 67 animated Disney version of the film was something I grew up with. I was born in 66 and have very vivid memories of images from the film. And at the time, you know, you just saw movies in theaters, but they ran for a long time. And then, you know, I, when I grew up and I was a child, there was no video, there was no DVD. So all the memories I have of the film were from when I first saw them as a child. Uh, and then as we went to uh, unpack this and how to turn it into a live action film, the starting point, the jumping off point, when you revisit material, when you reboot, remake, uh, is uh, for me, and what I had done certainly with, with Iron Man and to, and to some extent with Elf even, as I drew back on the stop motion Christmas specials of my youth, is what are the images that I remember? What are the things that jump out? And in many ways that's more important than watching the film again because it's the things that stick with you that are, are hitting something a little bit more significant. And those are the things that I want to make sure that I, I, don't, I don't overlook. As with all of my films, it always starts with the cast. If I, if I have, you know, I have to have a great cast. Otherwise, I can't do my job. It's just, it's just more, it's, it's like a chef with, it has to have good ingredients. If you don't have that, that's the star. That's, they're the star of the movie. And I, I knew I was going to be working with, a, with, with Neil, who at the time I didn't know, I had a hunch, but I didn't know whether or not he was going to be, uh, who was going to anchor the film or just be a really good, charismatic kid at the center of it. You, know, you never know when a kid's in that much of a film. Uh, I've worked with kids before. I was pretty confident, but I knew that I needed a good supporting cast around him. And I would bring Neil with me uh, to record with these actors. I think Bill Murray's a guy who doesn't get caught up in all the trappings of, of his line of work, but he does... Uh, endeavor to live an authentic life with really interesting experiences and dealing with interesting people uh, in maybe a non-traditional way for Hollywood. And so I, I had a, I had hoped that he'd be into this and he just dove in feet first. I think for voice performance, the trick is to have them really act it like they're in the film. And uh, in, the, in the early stages when they're just reading out of a script, it's difficult. You're using that as a bit of a scratch track. But as they start to see the animation and the performances or they work with each other, it starts to get uh, more of the naturalism that I like. Cartoon voices, you tend to have to push your performance through the character because it loses, it filters it out. But because the animation is so subtle and specific here, my thing was don't push it, just be, just do it like you're in a movie. The sense of belonging, the sense of not fitting in, the sense of being a, an exile, a pariah, somebody who wants a home, somebody who wants to fit in with the pack, somebody who doesn't belong. I think that that's, you know, to me, uh, when I see that, that dynamic, when I see that, that myth, it, it's, very, um, it's very universal.